Masa. See what in Nigerians do because that is on me. See guys. Hey, this is book, but I want to dance, no? Dance but no easy. Yo. Hey, my waist. Dance no easy at all. Before we did not have TV on our phones like we have right now. Yourself get time for Shatawale they insult them. Who? No artist, not the minor. It is a gonna be. Oh, and they tell the media today and Sunday night I made them know say, hey, look, you know, man, I no joke business, you know. When you wanna come clean, come clean. Let's play. If you don't wanna come clean, don't be the one to contradict yourself. Today you are somebody. Today somebody no good, nigga. Does he even know himself? Does he even know what he is? Does he even know what he wants as an artist? We hear and you, you hear of maybe an artist like A and someone who come from Nigeria and just come and one day and before we realize the person is more bigger than the yeah. A artist we have here. And so uh, I sometimes sit back <clears> and <throat> watch and see their flaws and see what they do, why, you know, they are not. What are their flaws? Um, that's what I'm saying. One hype, you okay. know, and too much, you know, talking. Too much talking. Yeah. Less yeah. work. Yeah. Too much hype. Yeah. Too much hype. You know, because wow. the work is not in there, but they always want to talk. They always want to, you know, you know, they always want to look good in front of people. Like things are good, but things are not good. You know, it's like things always circle back to where they started from. You know, music as a whole started from Africa. Himself, Stone Boy said this we are all Africans before we got separated into individual nations African history and migration studies confirms that there is more that unites us that divides us and that is amazing there is more that unites us than what divides us so I should give him a good shot for that as the big family that we are we all draw diverse creative inspiration from one another and that is a fact see many artists they listen to themselves Sometimes they pick some keynote beats or something from each other. Sometimes, sometimes you look as if, like maybe Shatawale himself would say that Nigerians sound all alike, but it's not. As, we don't sound alike. Everyone just has a unique vibe to their person. If you look at the, the new song that CK has released after his overblown Love One Jiti song, you see that it sounds. The beat is almost similar to the same Love One Jiti song. Okay, so you have to know your sound and be able to, you know key into your sound because your fans know you for that particular sound if tomorrow ck comes out and is rapping it will be more of like now what 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 the hell is going on like you get what i mean all right so anyway we draw inspirations from each other that is a good one from you stone boy but let's go on no wonder then that we have similar cultures and values across the continent and this cross pollination is clearly shown in our music and sound interesting of course come on the cross pollination could be an example of you know afro fusion afro beat of course is the base whatever you put on top of it like bonaboy would say so afro beat is the base okay right and then now you can have any pizza you want but you have the afro beat base you know, so, you so there's there's a, there's the hip hop pepperoni. Oh, the, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm like hip hop pepperoni. Hall. That's actually a good flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the dance hall right. ham. There's the you know all types of you know. So I just kind of make a nice pizza. Every oh, time. I like that. On a reggae dancer, me a lead and dada yeah. Everybody know what I want. Everywhere me step a foot, fireman bringing them pinos say my ship never sinking. Lyrically tap sharply thinking. I you know the difference them blinking. But, but we have seen Ama Piano and Afrobeat, that Afro fusion. A couple of other things you have seen still around Afrobeat. So of course we cross pollinate like you see for Calistic and Davido doing an amazing job. So um, with the advent of the modern day nation state, each independent nation is uniquely gifted in order to contribute its quota to the overall status of African entertainment and creative art scene. Of course, we are all independently gifted. Of course, that is a fact. Now, to do this, we must support each other. This is where the problem now comes in. Now, to do this, he said, we must support each other in equal measure. Now, let me ask a question. He's saying here, we must, we must support each other in equal measure. When it comes to music, listen, you have to understand something. Okay, Ghanaians feel like 
they they not they made nigerians or or just like how last time i made a video and cameronan said that they, they want to ban nigerian music entirely all right the thing is that it is true nigeria by legislation mm -hmm. almost about 80 percent of nigerian music in nigeria is by law mm. and they play 20 percent of every music mm. in the world so by legislation mm -hmm. we are you can't play any music. Mm -hmm. Ah, any 80% of Nigerian music. Right. And almost structure on my industry in such a way, say, they they almost create gatekeeping. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, now be a bomb right your marketing you know, because your market, you know, it is, if you look at the Nigeria in Nigeria, it's about 200 million people and the Nigerian diaspora mm -hmm. is huge. So they have a marketer, so we're artist, no release yeah. The Nigerian market alone can sustain you. Mm -hmm. So they will not allow anybody just to enter their market anyhow. And I yeah, yeah, just 30 million people. And yeah, we market, you know, we'll Jabba. The people that promote music, let's talk about the DJs themselves. A DJ's job, I've lived with a DJ, a DJ in Ghana before. Okay, a DJ's job is to sit down and sort out music that he knows is gonna. A DJ, when a DJ is playing, he's looking at the audience and looking at how to take them from one level to the other. It's a DJ's job to find music that they themselves know that people are vibing to. They're looking at the charts, come on. The charts are there to know music, top music. Sometimes the DJ doesn't even need to go and come and ask people, ah, which song do you like? Oh, oh, you, which song do you like or something? The charts are there. If you are going to uh, a, so a, a party where by the, uh, like I'm in China, I will not be going to Chinese people party where they, they, they sing toso, taso, toso, taso, tonko. If you have you heard Chinese music before, if I go down and I start playing Nigerian music, how would they, how would they relate to it? If I go down and start playing Afrobeats, how would they relate to it? So I have to know in this environment what is stopping. So in, in like there in Ghana, a DJ in Ghana will be more of like, okay, what is stopping the charts in Ghana sing? In boom play on audio mark in Ghana, what is stopping the chat? What are people listening to most? I don't know if you're getting the point. So saying we must support each other in equal measure. Let's talk about the music promoters themselves. Right now, music itself is not like back in the day whereby you have to sell CDs here and there. Right now, come on, everyone has access. You have your phone, Apple, whatever. You have audio mark there. We have um, SoundCloud. We have uh, um, 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 uh, Spotify or, not, or, or something. Look at the charts. The charts themselves tell you what is trending. Sometimes you discover songs that you have even, never even known the artist. Why? Because people just bump into the song and they're listening to it and it's amazing. So talking about supporting each other in equal measure, this same Stone Boy himself has done a feature with with Davido. The truth where you say me could talk. Which truth? Say it be, it be say like I think I think I think we are condoning and pampering our brother, you know. <laughs> To keep on discrediting other artists you know which is which is not right because after working so hard to achieve everything mm -hmm. in this career mm -hmm. it is not nice it is not matured mm -hmm. of another artist to come and sit and be blabbering and be discrediting that this is mine that is mine this should have been mine and Ghanaian media also you know say you people be the mouthpiece and so when you go into the media to say these things it goes out there to the majority who are loose fans because I get my diehard fans and every other artist have their diehard fans but the major the loose fans are the majority and they are the ones who consume information the most so when you keep knocking it say it's mine this is this this is that this is that and we know he's loud it gets into their heads and that is what the international world even sees because that's what the media writes that's what goes out there and then when they don't hear the other sides of the stories it becomes the truth you know what I mean? So I go beg him to stop discrediting other artists. So right now, if anyone that loves Davido is listening to Davido, one way, some way, somehow, the feature comes in because the key person, the key word there is Davido. Any other person that comes after that is someone that is being listened to because of Davido. I don't know if you're getting the point. Don't you know that even Kiddy himself, how I got to know Kiddy in Ghana was because he did a song with Pato Ranking Kiddy, Pato Rankin and you doubt I, I got to know from Pato Rankin why because of this collaboration. So talking about support, 
you don't talk about the masses you talk about you guys the artists who are the ones that are making the music how the heaven are you guys yourself working together not about the masses because the masses themselves they know those who are influencing them so that they know those that are listening to so are you guys collaborating with each other and working together or you expect that they so when you are talking about nigerians or Ghanaians, you cannot control the masses themselves as to what they like and what they don't like that's why when when cameron was saying that the government should ban nigerian music it was so stupid because some people were like are you normal ban the nigerian movies music from the wave just like saying ban i don't know i don't know if you get the point just like saying banning youtube or banning okay it's not like china here china here youtube you can't make youtube videos even though i still go across the world to make youtube videos but i don't know if you understand what i'm saying okay but let's continue all right because it, it makes sense as we go further He now says, our brother nation Nigeria has done very well to mark many of the biggest milestones in the entertainment scene and is putting Africa on the global map due to the strength of its population amongst other qualities. That was the same thing I said in my other video, the first video I made about this. We have the population, we are everywhere and we love our own thing. We always want to connect to our roots. I will not be in China here and I will be thinking about the only, the only way I connect to what is happening in Ghana like I'm talking about this right now is because I lived in Ghana for years. I know many Ghanaian artists. I, I still go back to listen to them. For me, I would even pick, sorry, I would pick Kau Kase over uh, uh, Shatawale sometimes. But let's go on with what um, Stoneboy has to say. Now said here, accordingly, our Nigerian brothers must, you say, he's, now, he, he, we now have to know who are the Nigerian brothers he's talking about. Is he talking about the masses or is he talking about the artists themselves? Our Nigerian brothers must consider that with their great power comes the responsibility of helping to forge a united African front by deliberately allowing music from other African countries which pollinate Nigerian um, music to flourish on Nigerian platforms on local and international level. Let me tell you something, Stone Boy, or all of you that are music fans, okay? When it comes to, have you, have, have you done, do you guys know that now talking about mainstream TV, the time we did not have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all these things we have. Before we did not have TV on our phones like we have right now. Right now the power is in your hands. Right now, in fact, social media has taken power from mainstream television. That before before you even promote a song, before you, you go pay you go pay TVC, pay Adom FM, pay uh, uh, UTV, pay NTA, pay channels TV a lot of money. It, ah, for them to promote your song or to just play two minutes of your song. But right now, how do songs themselves go viral? Or how do people get to know about songs? From blogs, from artists themselves sharing their songs or something. So what he's saying here now, the question is, who are you talking to? Are you talking to your fellow artists? Are you talking to the blogs? Uh -huh. Or are you to trying to talk to the masses themselves? Because I cannot control what Insta blog posts. I cannot control what Tunde not posts. I cannot control what some other blogs I follow post. Whatever they post is what I consume. Why? Because I'm following this blog. I don't know if you understand, but all of these two, we understand the business of music. So most times, don't you know we have many upcoming artists that you have not even heard of before, but that they're doing good music over time? How did Fireboy, how did Ruga, how did Rema? Rema has been there, but from, from being discovered, he was already making music before the Prince discovered him and brought him to Marvin's. And then boom. Why? Because Don Jaji have attention. Marvin's is a brand that has attention over time. So most of these artists just need promotion and we are helping each other and helping ourselves. So you talking about the whole idea of Nigerians should allow. See, let me tell you something. Let me explain the word pay attention to you. Pay attention means it's very simple. Logically break it down. Paid attention. Advertisement is paid attention. You are paying for people to listen to you. I don't know if you are getting the point. So it's not as if if you want your music to. That's why some some songs travel even without promotion. Why? Because the song is just good now. But sometimes if you want your song to, to be promoted on Nigerian blogs or something, which is now the new media or whatever, sometimes you will have to pay and say, 
Uh, don't you know that Nigerian artists they pay Tunde not to post their song, they pay Insta Block to post their song so that people will know that ah, master, this person they will. You they care what they talk, so it's not as if it's just gonna happen free flow. Ghanaian blogs or something post Nigerian songs without even getting without because the song is good. If it is good, it is good. So the main thing is that put your craft out there. Okay, right now that you are watching this video, did I I just do my thing, make my video good or bad? I don't I don't care. I just put do my best to make a video and I put it out there and people are watching. Did I did I tell you to come and watch me? No, we are we are watching me on your own. That is how music itself is, and that's how it goes. So saying that we should allow us, if when we see Ghana music, we just we just think of the days of our widow. There are many, come on, there are many songs, Ghanaian songs that have trended in Nigeria, and it's when we have to now search the song, we'll be like, ah, oh, now Ghana person sing this song. There's, there was a song by Kiri that was trending right that time now in Nigeria. I don't know if you're getting the point. So the main thing is not about as if someone is blocking the way for you. First of all, of course, Nigerians who first. So the main thing is right, right now is that maybe a Ghanaian makes a song. How 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 are Ghanaian artists friends with Nigerian artists? Don't you see that sometimes they will post a song or maybe release an album, Pato Ranking will tweet it or this one will tweet it or something. Are, are you friends with these artists themselves? That they, they, they will not give you a shout out when things happen or when you release something or whatever. So if you have that entitlement and saying, oh, Nigerians have a number, we should, so we will just come and then be looking, oh, this person make it, oh, let me just post it. No, no. You build that friendship, you build that relationship. And those things happen. Because the fans have to know that, oh, this person is friends with this person. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He posted this person's song. Let's check him out. Because for this person to post this person's song or something or promote it on his page or whatever, it's more of like he's saying that this person is good. I don't know if you're getting the, 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 the point, but let's continue with what he has to say. So he now said here, um, the approach will enable the African sound to dominate the world as one big family and as a global force. That's how we stand as one Africa. My brother Shatawale's approach may be wrong, but the topic of our brother nation Nigeria not reciprocating the love and support it received, particularly from Ghana, is valid and deserves critical attention. Are you serious? Are you serious? When I so, do you know? Oh God of mercy! I've lived in Ghana. Not be like say I never live in Ghana. You get. So if you are talking about the, those who make the song able for people to see, don't talk about the masses. I don't like it when people talk about the people. The people who have the free mind. It's not. This is not uh, uh, North Korea where government, government uh, president can say all of you. Nobody is going to cry for um, um, smile for 11 days. No, this is not North Korea. We are talking about human beings that have free will and free, like free will to think and choose what they want to choose. Do Nigerians come and force you guys to love the song, love our song? You just it's good. It's so most of many. Do you know how many Ghanaians are following Nigerian blogs and following um, 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 Tunde Nord Insta blog Nigerian artists? Do you know? I don't know if you are getting the point of what I'm saying. So if you are talking about the music promoters, the DJs or your fellow artists, what relationship do you have with them? That is the first thing you have to look at first. Your, your, your wealth is defined by your relationships. So I don't know if I just gave you a punchline now, but let's, let's go on. It's even getting more interesting. He said, meanwhile, as the saying goes, we must love our neighbors as we love ourselves, not more than we love ourselves. This means that Ghanaians home and abroad must emulate the Nigerian approach of prioritizing, of prioritizing an agenda to invest and support Ghanaian talent. This is where I like. So Ghanaians themselves also prioritize your own music. Nigerians will be abroad. The, the Gari... The Gari I have here, if not for the fact that Nigerians, we have Gari, Ghanaians have Gari. The, the Gari I have here is not Nigerian Gari, it's Ghanaian Gari. Oh. The one I buy here in China is not Nigerian Gari. I can know Nigerian Gari when I carry it like this, when I taste it. But because I've lived in Ghana, 
and I, I understand. Oh, matcha, I buy it oh, because <laughs> half bread they say it's better than not. Tone boy come talk, say like, he check like, say people they misinterpret and make a check then see whether I go find that that post. Where he, he later come talk, say like, he check like people they mister, misinterpret and talk then. He say, he talk say, I have been greatly misinterpreted on the thoughts I shared and it's sad. Nigeria do not owe any African country no obligation. I trust Ghana and Nigeria are the closest friends in Africa. Nothing can come between us. May our differences continue to bond us together. And then he was sharing his meeting his meeting with Whiskey. Alright? So I don't know if you get what I talk right this now. So the bottom line right now be say uh, Ghanaians, if you just watch the massa, if you don't say be Ghanaian. Pa. You don't say be Ghanaian pa massa. It be you guys know it, it be you guys. Suppose they love you in a music, then promote in a music, then things matter. But you know me say if you hear good music from Nigeria, make you know, you know, say how far then, you know, that kind of thing. But the fact be say, just be saying Nigerians say matter, we love we, we love we think, we love with music, you know. If you, if the music be shit, matter it be shit. We know they even listen to crowd, there's music some stuff. If the music be good, matter it be good. If we go even make a trend for TikTok stuff. <laughs> yeah, they tell you, you get. But the main thing we say, Shata Wale himself talk and say, Master, make good music. If you're not gonna make good music, you know go get the show some play. You know go get the show some you know go get you're gonna you know go see nothing play, cra Master, make good music. Just make good music. If you think that, you know, you know, Master, right this now, this matter right no go check. This matter no go check. If it's like two weeks, three weeks, Master, if you go go. Shata Wale self, if Shata Wale gets sense, Shata Wale just free release music right there's no matter. Yes, the master the music go hit. Go hit rough rough. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments, yeah?